Hello and welcome back to my channel Iraqi Dinar Digest. I hope you are all doing well. Intel Guru Marks has noted an interesting development regarding personnel at redemption centers and banks. These employees have been scheduled to work part time over the weekend, not just on call but required to be present for a specific number of hours. This is noteworthy because it marks the second weekend in a row that this has happened. There is some speculation that this scheduling might be a tactic to create the impression that something significant is about to happen. However, the actual reason behind this change in routine remains uncertain. The consistent scheduling over consecutive weekends is drawing attention, and many are keenly observing to see if it indicates any imminent changes or developments. Guest Guru Margarita highlighted a recent article that quotes an official expressing optimism about the upcoming fourth round of negotiations for Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization WTO. The official emphasized that this rapid pace of negotiations suggests significant progress. The goal is for these negotiations to occur in the first quarter of the coming year. The acceleration of this process reflects Iraq's growing importance as an economic entity, with many countries eager for Iraq to re-establish itself as a vital player in the global trading system. This momentum is seen as a positive sign for Iraq's economic future and its integration into international markets. Intel guru Frank26 shared his anticipation for an announcement concerning Iraq's progress with the World Trade Organization, WTO, on the 18th. However, he expressed disappointment that no such announcement was made. Despite this, Frank26 does not consider the lack of news to be a significant setback suggesting that other factors might still be in play that could affect Iraq's economic trajectory. Newshound Guru Claire added an important perspective to this discussion by emphasizing that full accession to the WTO is not a prerequisite for a currency rate change. Claire's point highlights that while WTO membership could enhance Iraq's economic standing and facilitate international trade, it is not the sole determinant of currency valuation adjustments. This distinction is crucial for understanding the broader context of Iraq's economic reforms and the various elements that influence currency rate changes. Together, these insights from Frank26 and Claire provide a more nuanced view of Iraq's economic developments. While progress with the WTO is important and eagerly watched, it is not the only factor at play in the potential revaluation of Iraq's currency. Other economic reforms and international factors may also contribute to significant changes, irrespective of WTO membership's status.